Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we would take a look at restoring PlayStation 1 discs. So I've been buying discs, um, like little job lots of uh, like 10 discs for £10 and that sort of thing. Um, not all of them have been uh, spares and repairs. I might uh, do another video in the future just showing some of the other uh, job lots that I've bought. But on this particular one we're just going to look at trying to fix this uh, Resident Evil disc. As I said, it's a PS1 disc, and I wouldn't recommend using this uh, method on normal CDs. This seems to really work much better on the PS1 discs, um, possibly because of the black pigment in the disc, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, I have repaired other discs, uh, normal CDs, using Teacup, but uh, it does seem to... Uh, uh, I don't know how, how would you say it. It does uh, it seems to scrub them up a bit worse than it does on here. They seem to come up a lot more shinier and work a lot better on the uh, plastic on these discs. But uh, anyway, so basically this is um, for cleaning your car, really, for uh, restoring your paintwork. So it's a slightly abrasive, uh, very... Uh, well, <laughs> let's put it this way, you don't really want to be breathing this stuff in, so it's best if you wear a mask. Maybe do it outside if you can. It is uh, quite nasty stuff, really, to be breathing in. I'll be using my uh, COVID mask uh, when I'm doing this. But uh, you won't get to see me wearing that, so that's okay. But, uh, yeah, so um, basically we have... Lots of scratches on this disc. Hopefully, we can catch this light correctly. You can see them. I, mean, I think you can see them. You can see definitely one there. We have these ones going across here. And obviously, this disc uh, doesn't load when you put it in. So, basically, what I'll be doing is just putting a little bit of teacup on here, like a probably um, what sort of amount, maybe like a P, a garden P worth of a teacup and then I'll be just doing that on the disc and I'll probably do that for 10 minutes and I'll probably get rid of a scratch like that or close to it definitely get rid of these because these are very superficial I think this might be the the one that's stopping anything loading possibly but there's scratches all over the thing so I'll try and get rid of, what would I say, one, two, three, four, those four, yeah, four main ones probably, we'll, we'll, then, we'll, then we'll give it a test. So, uh, yeah, what I'll quickly do is I'll quickly just pop this into the PlayStation so you can see it not working. Then I'll do the uh, clean, and then we'll test it out again after that. So, I'll just pause the video now, and we'll be back in a second. That didn't pause, bloody hell. So here we are. Stick the old disc in. That little sound there indicated that I'd actually lost sound there. But it does give me the opportunity to uh, quickly say that I do realise that I did, uh, didn't did let the game load for long enough to show that it didn't load. But I'm sure you can trust me um, that the game doesn't work. You saw all the scratches. Um, so I just thought I'd point it out before anyone wanted to uh, mention that in the comments. So uh, yeah, um, I did. I, I acknowledge that I forgot to do that. As I said, as we'll take the disc out. And I'll give it a clean, and then we'll test it again. So I'll see you again in a minute. Okay then, guys. So back now after around 10 to 15 minutes, giving this a good clean. And as you can see, all of those nasty scratches have now been removed. dust on there now 
So, uh, yeah, so once I've done the uh, cleaning, what I normally do is uh, just spray a little bit of it. Well, sorry, that's not what I do. I'll uh, quickly rinse this under the tap, the game. I'll uh, dry it down with a bit of a uh, kitchen roll, tissue paper. And I'll spray it with uh, a bit of this. This is a uh, plastic polish. As you can see, it says plastic there. This is the one I like to use. Any one, any polish that says plastic uh, should be fine. So I'll just do a little squirt of that on there. And then I'll get a couple of uh, cloths. I'll have one, this dirty one, as you can see, to do the first uh, sort of clean. And then I'll use this one just to get the... Uh, last bit off and clean it so it's just thoroughly clean and a nice clean disc right let's go and stick it back into the playstation and see how we get on Hello, Darren from the future here again. There are going to be quite a few jump cuts here. And between each um, loading screen and whatnot, there's about 10 seconds of uh, nothing going on. Just me pointing the camera at a blank screen. There's no point in you watching that. So if you're uh, viewing pleasure, I'm going to remove all that. So uh, that's why all the jump cuts are there, okay?